For the longest time, the mantle for the biggest rat in the NHL has been reserved for Brad Marchand. And while Marchand and Matthew Kachuk have battled back and forth for the crown in recent years, even more recently, Nick Cousins has given them both some real competition, as Cousins has seemingly gotten away with countless hits that are questionable. In this video, we're going to go over a handful of the worst jerk moments from Cousins to date. And with that, here are the top 5 jerk moments from Nick Cousins. Earlier this season, Cousins unintentionally gave us some golden meme-worthy content amid a game against the Buffalo Sabres. With over five minutes to go in the second period, a scrum breaks out between the two teams after the whistle. And by this time, Jordan Greenway had decided he had had it with Cousins' antics. Now it appears to be more of a shove than punch that comes from Greenway, but regardless, the contact caused Cousins to drop like a heavy sack of potatoes. Humorously though, Cousins, after not drawing the call he was looking for, popped right back up as if nothing had happened and jumped right into the scrum. Riddle me this, NHL fans, if the Vegas Golden Knights or Tampa Bay Lightning embodied a player right when the regular season ends, would it resemble Cousins in this scenario? I vote yes. I have to say, after the playoffs last year, Florida and Serrano have developed quite the rivalry. Sure, they're both members of the same division, but it used to not be this heated. Pretty much during every matchup now, there's some sort of shenanigans that comes about in result. And this time, the chaos began to ensue well into the middle frame of play. As several players were digging for a loose puck, Cousins decided it was the perfect time to fuck around and find out, as they say. So Cousins sees Austin Matthews just minding his own business and decides to randomly cross-check him, several times unprovoked. This whole series of events was just hilarious because not only does Cousins fall afterwards, but Michael Bunting notices his teammate getting bullied. If you all know anything about Bunting, one word to best describe him is intense. And Bunting had managed to bring his intensity to the match as he jumped Cousins and started letting him have it. Cousins, who seemed overwhelmed and stunned, proceeds to do his best Matthew Kachuk impression before tumbling to the ice. I think this is the perfect time to acknowledge that for some reason, Cousins starts cousining like clockwork when there's roughly five minutes to go in the second. Weird, right? Anyways, this time we're going back to a game that took place this season between the Panthers and Jets. As Mark Scheifele was passing the puck up ice, Cousins had already set his sights on his opponent, like the shark in Jaws. Now we can see Shifley getting lower to the ice here in response to Cousins coming. Cousins lined Shifley up in such a way that allowed him to make contact with Shifley's head. While I'm sure many Habs fans and NHL fans in general are saying it, it couldn't have happened to a better guy, however, Nate Schmidt and company begged to differ. Play was soon halted as Schmidt and others proceeded to pile on the perpetrator in the Panthers zone. Remember when I said fuck around and find out earlier? Well, that was just the tip of the iceberg. This time though, it wasn't bunting that Cousins had to answer to. Right as the third period kicked off in Columbus, things quickly began to heat up, pretty much after puck drop. Cousins, who decided to hit Eric Gabranson behind the net, did so in a way that wasn't exactly legal. As Goodbranson was retrieving the puck, Cousins decided to not only push his opponent from behind, but to also sandwich him into the boards completely. After gathering himself, the defenseman managed to show Cousins how he felt about the hit with his fists. Anyways, even though yes, Cousins did receive a penalty for boarding, Gabranson was the one who was dealt the steepest punishment, as he was not only given a 5 minute major in game, but also a 1 game suspension for, I don't know, standing up for himself? And for reasons NHL fans are still trying to understand, Cousins received zero supplementary discipline in result. With less than a minute to go in the second, in the desert, Cousins decided that he needed to stir things up before intermission. As Yusuf Alamaki was going in for the puck near the blue line, Cousins managed to acquaint his elbow with his opponent's head, sending him into the boards dangerously. And just like Bunting before, Jason Zucker, who observed his teammate getting roughed up, was having none of it. Zucker managed to do to Cousins what he did to Gabranson, hit him directly from behind while he was vulnerable into the boards. 
But it's hard to ignore the fact that Cousins wasn't quite able to take a taste of his own medicine, as he seemed to be in quite a bit of discomfort after the hit. Again, Zucker gets ejected from the game, and the same sort of response was sent by player safety, as Zucker was given a suspension for retaliating. Not only were NHL fans expressing their displeasure with the decision, but also former NHLer Kevin Bieksa. This is a trend with Cousins, and he has done this a numerous amount of times. Ramming a guy's head into the boards? There is no place in the game for this. Somebody has to hammer Cousins from the NHL Department of Player Safety and put it into these crappy hits, because I hate them. Cousins is a rat to me, I'm sorry, Bieksa said. In conclusion, I'm sure there's a treasure trove out there of jerk moments from Cousins that I missed, so if you all have any, feel free to comment down below for a part two. Cousins is going to keep giving us more content to go over, I'm afraid, until, like Bieksa said, player safety finally suspends the right guy who is actually instigating everything. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more NHL themed content. And if you're already subscribed and viewing my content on the regular, consider joining my Patreon. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.